clear to engage and blazing fire. In today's exercise, you will see two distinctly different types of aircraft. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, in both its ground attack and forward air control of roles, and the F-16C Fighting Falcon, also capable of both missions. These two aircraft combined to fly over half the total tactical sorties flown during Desert Storm. The A-10 was specifically designed for close air support. The ability to kill targets at long range before the aircraft can be heard prompted the Iraqis to nickname the A-10 the Silent Gun. The Warthog is a tough, maneuverable, survivable aircraft. The A-10 carries a flexible and impressive payload, ranging from CBU-87 and laser-guided bombs to as many as six AGM-65 Maverick missiles, in addition to 1,150 armor-piercing 30 mm rounds. The first aircraft you will see will be the OA-10 forward air controller. His call sign today is Rifle. He circles over the battlefield, spots enemy positions, talks to his ground counterparts, he conflicts artillery in friendly positions, and directs the airship. The FAC will either mark the targets with white phosphorus rockets or pass map and topographical references to the fighters. The first fighter's call sign is Hawk, a flight of four A-10s. In an attempt to mass firepower, the FAC A will call in a flight of two F-16Cs. Their call sign today is Snake, and their ordnance is two 2,000-pound bombs. Now it's time to go airborne with our FAC as he finds and marks his target and then controls the air strike. Alright, we're off back, center mark, elevation 3030, I got three tanks in the open. 3030 on that. Got two marks away, call the marks in sight, packs off to the southeast. Hogs got the marks. The marks bracket your east and center target. Three vehicles oriented east west, you're cleared in. Hog one's in from the east. One, you're in sight, one you're cleared hot. Clear up. Yeah. 